It's fine. There's a rat in my room and it's freaking the shit out of me. Legitimate? There is I a rat. I think I'm kidding, but I'm not. This is what happens. I live in a home that's like broken. I might as well be living in Ethiopia in a mud hut in the city. You would definitely be a little bit skinnier. Probably. Or I would just eat small children. Welcome to My Weekly Bitch Season 2 Episode 6. This is a special New Mexico edition, seeing Ooh. as I'm stuck in New Mexico for the next week. This is my best friend growing up, Zach. Hola! He's a native New Mexican. He'll be giving us insight on these topics, seeing as Alex is in what I hear is a very rainy Los Angeles. Aww. Um, so thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Yep. I didn't want to do it alone, because then I'd really be talking to myself and I'd be fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> first topic, when I came into town last week, I saw on the news that there's going to be a new two-story target. Two or three stories. You told me three. It's two with an escalator. Two stories with an escalator, which was such a big deal. They were interviewing... Uh, people here and they're like, I just don't know how I'm gonna get my car to, from one floor to the other And I was like, God, you people are stupid So that's like a family of ten was murdered last week, but that wasn't breaking news It was the new target world's biggest target world's biggest target. So you're, well, you're welcome. Yeah, congratulations New Mexico You've actually achieved we something. got one Yeah, but yeah. what I find really funny is and I was telling you this is that there's something in LA now called city targets which are like smaller targets, and I walked into one right before I left, and it was the re it was a regular New Mexico target. So I just think it's funny that both states are now getting what the other one has. Really, what I'm saying is New Mexico's a fucking shithole. They also just got a Chipotle within like the last year or two. We have two. There's now. two Chipotles now, which I mean, ugh. I don't even know what else. To say it, do it doesn't matter. It it, it's it's not even real Mexican food. It's that's fake. true too. And it's, that's, it's, it's a fake Mexican I, that's restaurant. Why I and can't people think, love it here. That's what I don't understand because New Mexicans are so it's, uptight about their Mexican food. We have such better Mexican food. In and it. Chipotle is crap. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Chipotle, but it's not Mexican food whatsoever. It's like jasmine fucking rice. Who yeah. puts jasmine rice in Mexican food? Not I. But yeah, I think that's. I didn't think it would be successful here. Now there's two. So congratulations to Mexicans for sticking to your guns and feeding corporate America. Did you hear about Elmo? The guy who plays Elmo has apparently slept with three underaged people. So now he's quitting and there's a lawsuit. That's not a first. For who? You? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, for, for most of America? I just, I think that's funny. I mean, it's kind of to be expected. Like, I feel like anyone who's like a puppeteer playing Elmo. Elmo, sorry! Oh my god. He Elmo, can do Elmo. Elmo loves Don't touch me. Stop. Can you to, tickle me, Elmo? You want to play with Elmo? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, want. I'd be a little creeped out too if I was a 14 year old boy and some old man comes yeah, up. Yeah, who, who would find that? Like, I know people are in like their prime for being horny and stuff when you're at that age, but like, if the, you came up to me talking Creeper like that, man! I'd be like, Elmo, you want to play? No, I don't like, want to play uh, Elmo. I don't want to play. No. Say no to Say Elmo. no. Although I recently I said something funny the other day. I said no doesn't mean never. It just means not yet. Elmo says no. On to some real topics. It was uh, recently announced last night that Lindsay Lohan got arrested for the a billionth time this year, which I find ironically hysterical because it's not a week if Lindsay Lohan <laughs> hasn't been arrested yet. Lindsay, get your shit together, girl. I love Lindsay Lohan. I love Mean Girls. I want her to be successful. I want her to do a good job in life. But I just, how many times are you gonna get into a fight in a fucking bar? Nah, I just think she should be a hobo. Maybe she should. Lindsay, not be the you hobo. would succeed here in New Mexico. There's a lot of meth here. I think you'd find that it would be really, really. It's worth your while. It would be really beneficial towards you. I'm still not over the two Chipotle thing. I'm not gonna get over that for a long time. Also, there's a Kohl's here, by the way, which I walked into the other day, and the woman was like, oh, we have Rock and Republics. And if you've watched anything about this show, you know that I cannot stand that Rock and Republics are Kohl's. I refuse to wear my Rock and Republics anymore. And I went on this huge tirade on this poor, in -store, this poor employee at Kohl's on Black Friday because... Rock and Republics were there. She's like, oh, Rock and Republics are on sale. And I was like, great. So they're like free now, in my mind. Fuck Just you, Kohl's. I'm still not over that. What next? Going on, Which Angus T. Jones recently called his hit TV show Filth. 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 He called it Filth. He called it Filth. Which is funny because you're making $350,000 an episode. If you've actually sat down and watched 
this this little documentary he does of himself where he sits down and tells his life story uh -huh. about how, how he found he, Jesus. How he found Jesus. He was just sitting there one he day. He joined a black church though, which I can't figure out for the life of me. Not saying that you should join church. I mean, like I know nothing about church or whatever, but I just think it's funny that like white people just want to be in the know. Like it's oh, I'm gonna join a black church, and that's gonna be really cool and <laughs> progressive. Well, his expression was just he was, he was just constantly sitting there just. Just telling his life story to the guy. He's so dumb. Like, did he not think it was going to get out there? And for some reason, they decided to shoot it in like 17 different locations. Yes, and angles. So, there were even angles. Yeah. This was a very well thought out thing. Yeah, he's he's like, one suddenly he's outside and they're in this dark alley and then he's in, in the his car. Yeah. In his car and he's like, That's a I'm good wearing point. my glasses. I'm not wearing my glasses. I didn't notice that. They must have done a lot of takes of that, which makes me think that there was intent on this becoming public. You should be more grateful for the show that you're on because obviously growing up you wanted to be an actor and you got on a hit show. His which mom wanted him to be an actor. He didn't want to be an actor? No. His mom said, fuck it, we're in LA. Let's be an actor. Well, that's that, ugh, that's so obnoxious. The people are just like, oh, I happen to just walk by this casting call and I walked in and got cast. It's like people are actually working their asses off to do this. And he, he has the audacity to be like, fuck this show. Like, I'm so unappreciative. God. Yeah. Annoying. And his name is Angus T. Jones, so fuck off. I hate him. But have you but have you accepted Jesus into your life? Because it's apparently like a warm hunk. Do you all remember? all over. It's like an embrace that just never ends. No, I haven't accepted Jesus yet. Well maybe you should embrace him. No. Or Angus. That's what remember somebody I'm not gonna say who. When I last time I was in town for a specific reason, certain people told me that the reason I couldn't be in a stable relationship was because I haven't accepted Jesus. It has nothing to do with the men that I do that have girlfriends. It's because I haven't accepted Jesus yet. Yeah. Next episode. <laughs> <laughs> the best is yet to come. Ross finds Jesus. I've actually never been into a church. Is that weird? Yeah. I mean, maybe I have like it's once or twice, but yeah. I don't think not a real one. Not like a real one. I don't know if I would burn or it would burn. I mean... Which is like surprising, because you'd think like of all the weddings I've been to and stuff, no one has really gotten married in like an actual church yet. Yeah, it's true. And we have a lot, I mean like you go to church, all my friends go to church. Yeah. Why was I ever invited? You're Jewish. It's almost Jewish. No, you, you always would be like, oh Hanukkah, I'm I Jewish. I only like Hanukkah because I get gifts. I'm, I'm a fake Jew. I'm Jewish. Uh, but I'm a see, holiday the Jew. thing is... Hanukkah, eight gifts. Christmas, there's no limit. I know, but it's Jews, no, Jews don't but skimp no. on gifts. It's like, my Hanukkah gift one year was a car, so I mean, like, that would surpass anything that I ever got for Christmas. All I'm saying is, I've never been to a church, and I'm offended to all my friends out there. You want to go to church? No. <laughs> Moving on to our next topic. Yes, Twilight has finally ended. After so, four years of pure hell, I never have to hear about Robert Pattinson. Team Edward, Team Jacob ever again. We saw the Twilight movie, not together. He really liked it. You told me you liked it. You told me it was good. I said I liked the ending. No, he is lying. He said that he liked it. I said I... He said that I would like it too. No, I said I thought you'd like the ending. I liked the last 10 minutes. That was yeah, redeeming. So... I just don't understand why people go to watch it. Like, I get the fascination with vampires and stuff. Like, I read the books, and I think the teenage angst comes off really well in the books. But the way they translated to film, terrible. And I'm not a film snob. I mean, my favorite movie is Transformers and Mean Girls. So, like, I am far from the person who should be critiquing what good cinema is. But I'm just saying, like, I don't understand how many people can go and sit through these movies over and over again. Like, the first line of the movie is, oh, we're the same body temperature now. And I was like, who wrote that? Like, oh my god. You could say that so much. I don't I couldn't. I couldn't uh, get a word. I, th I do say, I... I think that a lot of teens are so addicted to it because after they saw the sex scene where they just went and went and went and then they're just one? no in the second one and then they're laying there and they're just like man well, I'm those, not even tired those teens are gonna get a real it's gonna be a real eye opener when they find out that sex isn't actually like that it's really <laughs> awkward and one grimy and, and, one and done son I mean like I don't think I've ever I mean I've been having a lot of sex in my day and I do not think that I have ever had sex like that before ever. But if you had to pick between Jacob or Edward within the context of the movie. Fucking Edward. You really? Get, you get to live forever and you get a fucking cool power. I just like, I don't know, there's something to be said about like, Jacob's like the good boy next door, but Edward's like the more mysterious type that you never know what's going to happen. I mean, if, no, I but, at, oh. if I look at the track record of my life, I definitely choose Edward's. No, okay. 
obviously. But let's just let's just take stop for a second. Let's take a look at your outfit. Ross, how much did your outfit cost you? Ballpark. Okay, well, in think about it. If you were a vampire versus a werewolf, if you're a werewolf, you're constantly busting oh out your goddamn clothes. Oh my god, that's right. Where the hell do they get all oh, these he's clothes? Right. I would have to be. You're right. And wow, they, I mean, they've, a good point. they've got to go down Cheers. to Goodwill or something and just get, I, yeah. get the dollar jeans that are like, oh, I don't care. I'm just about to just transform out of them. You made that was actually a really you good couldn't point. do it. You that was a really it. good point. There you go. I, and that you mass be a vampire, that. and you like biting people. All right. I don't like biting. When have I ever bit? <laughs> he likes biting people. Oh, I'm not commenting on that. I already know what you're referring to, and I'm not commenting on that. All right. Uh, GQ released the list of the 25 most non-influential people this year, <laughs> and I'd like to read you a few of them real fast. Number one, Mitt Romney, which I find absolutely hysterical, which I kind of disagree with, because, I mean, like, he influenced He Obama. influenced, I mean, like, He influenced honestly, at least some of the population. He influenced people to vote for Barack Obama. That's what I said. You do have a point. But I just think it was funny. He was number one. Take it or leave it. Doesn't Eight was do. Ryan Lochte, which I think he should, he was very influential to me. He shows that you can be an idiot and still be super successful and rich. This is my favorite one. Number 16 was whoever directed John Carter, which I find hysterical because no one saw John Carter. I happened to see John Carter, and I thought it was a great movie. I was actually watching it last night. It was a horrible movie. No, it was really good. It was a horrible it movie. It was great. It was re I think it could have been better, Did you watch it? Really good. Stop for a second. Did you watch it? No one watches the show. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> and they probably didn't watch John Carter. Uh, I, we didn't make the list. I didn't make the list, which probably means I'm doing a good job of my life. You're such an influential person. I am a very influential person. The amount, I think that if Facebook tracked the amount of people that read my Facebook posts and get humor for their everyday lives out of it, I would be famous by now. Like, I'm Facebook famous in my mind. I feel like people, wait, everyone, every 2,000 of my friends wake up every morning and they're like, I wonder what interesting, funny story Ross has today. Did Ross get raped last night? I... Did Ross get beat up last night? Did he get pee all over himself? Is Ross alive? Is, this that's a, probably a better question. This week's bitch of the week is Khloe Kardashian because what? she sucks at hosting X Factor. 